Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about comparison between JavaScript and Blazor. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one, a quick deep into Blazor. Number two, unpacking Blazor's unique features and benefit. Number three, meet JavaScript. Number four, why JavaScript has been the go-to for web development. Number five, comparing JavaScript and Blazor, ease of use, learning curve, and performance. Number six, choosing between Blazor and JavaScript based on different scenarios. So let's dig in. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, let's move towards the first topic, a quick dip into Blazor. Blazor is like that new kid on the block who's really starting to make a name for themselves. Hailing from the .NET family, Blazor brings a whole new approach to building interactive client-side web UI with .NET, a departure from the usual JavaScript-based solutions. Picture this, you are a .NET developer, comfortable with c -sharp and Resurgent syntax, but each time you need to create a client-side interactive feature, you have to switch gears to JavaScript. Does that sound familiar? That's where Blazor comes in promising to be the game changer. It allows you to build web applications using c -sharp and Razor, both on the server side and client side. No, more contact switching between languages. Sounds neat, right? But of course, as with any technology, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Blazor has its own set of challenges and limitations. But don't worry, we will get into these a bit later. For now, just remember that Blazor offers an alternative way to build interactive web UIs using the tools and languages .NET developers are already comfortable with. Okay now, unpacking Blazor's unique features and benefit. So number one feature is full stack development with c -sharp and .NET. This arguably Blazor biggest selling point. With Blazor, you can write your client-side code in c -sharp using the same language libraries and tools that you use for server-side code. For many .NET developers, this is a dream come true. Number two feature is Razor Components. Blazor applications are built using Razor Components which encapsulate both markup and logic into reusable pieces. These components can be nested, reused and shared among projects promoting core reusability and maintainability. Number third feature is JavaScript interoperability, where Blazor aims to reduce your reliance on JavaScript. It doesn't entirely eliminate it. There will still be scenarios where you might need to use existing JavaScript libraries or write some custom JavaScript. Blazor provides seamless interoperability with JavaScript, so you can call JavaScript from C-sharp and vice versa. Number fourth is live reloading with hot reload. With .NET hot reload, you can make changes to your Blazor app's code while it's running and see the changes instantly without needing to maintain manually pause or restart the app. It's a real-time saver and boosts productivity significantly. Number fifth will be strong typing and tooling. Since Blazor uses C Sharp, you get all the benefits of strongly typed language and excellent tooling support with IntelliSense debugging and unit testing capabilities. And number seven, the performance. Blazor WebAssembly runs on the client side in the WebAssembly bytecode format, which is fast, fast, compact, and near native speed. While it's not as fast as JavaScript, yet it's continually improving. Okay now, meet JavaScript. Now let's turn our attention to JavaScript, the language that's been around since the dawn of the web and is virtually unavoidable if you are doing any kind of web development. JavaScript you have probably already met it, maybe you have even had a love-hate relationship with it, but there's no denying its impact. 
Born in the mid-90s, it was designed to add interactivity to otherwise static page and boy has it come a long way since then. JavaScript is the only language that runs natively in every modern web browser, making it the de facto language of the web. It powers everything from simple form validations to complex single page application SBAs like Gmail and Twitter. With the advent of Node.js, JavaScript also broke out of the browser and conquered the server side making it possible to build entire full stack applications using just JavaScript. Talk about versatility and let's not forget the massive ecosystem around JavaScript. Thousands of open source libraries and frameworks like React, Angular and Vue.js that can help you build pretty much anything you can imagine and a vibrant active community of developers constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible with language. But as you probably know, JavaScript is not with its quirks and pitfall, which can sometimes make, up, make it a bit challenging work with. We'll get into that a bit later. For now, let's move on and take a closer look at some of the unique features and benefits JavaScript brings to the table. Alright, why JavaScript has been the go-to for web development? Let's dive a bit deeper into why JavaScript has held the crown as the go-to language for web development for so many years. There's more to it than just being old and familiar. Here are a few key reasons. So number one is browser compatibility. JavaScript is supported by every modern web browser. That means when you write code in JavaScript, you can be confident that it will run on any device that has a web browser. It's like a universal key to the web. Number two, versatility. With JavaScript, you can create everything from simple drop-down menu to a full-blown web application. And with the rise of .node.js, you can now use JavaScript for server-side programming as well. This means you can use the same language to write both of your front-end and back-end code. Number third will be ecosystem and community. JavaScript has a massive vibrant community of developers and an enormous ecosystem of tools, libraries, and frameworks. Whether you need to quickly prototype an application with Express.js, build a complex front-end with React or Angular, or even create a mobile app with React Native, there's likely a JavaScript tool that can help you do it. Number four is constant evolu evolution. JavaScript is continuously evolving and improving with new features and improvements being added regularly. This ensures that the language stays relevant and capable of meeting the needs of modern web development. Number fifth and last is async programming. JavaScript even driven non-blocking model is a perfect for handling multiple concurrent requests which is common in web programming this makes javascript a great choice for building performing highly scalable applications but remember no longer no language is perfect and that includes javascript it creates and sometimes make it tricky to work with and the sheer child size of its ecosystem can be overwhelming all right comparing javascript and blazor ease of use, learning curve, and performance. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. We have introduced our two contenders, Blazor and JavaScript, and now it's time to see how they stack up against each other in three critical areas, ease of use, learning curve, and performance. So number one is ease of use. So JavaScript with its dynamic typing and flexible syntax, JavaScript can be very forgiving for beginners. It doesn't enforce strict rules, so it's easy to get something working quickly. However, this flexibility can also lead to sloppy code and hard to track bugs, especially in larger applications. Blazor with its static typing and rigorous structure, Blazor might seem intimidating to beginners However, if you are already familiar with c -sharp and .NET, you will feel right at home. And even if you are not, once you get past the initial learning curve, you might find that Blazor structure make code easier to write, read, and debug. Now, learning curve. JavaScript is ubiquitous and there's countless resources available to learn it from online tutorials to coding bootcamps 
However, mastering JavaScript and its sprawling ecosystem can take time and since the language is constantly evolving, there's always something new to learn. Blazor is a newer technology, so there are fewer resources available to learn it and fewer developers are familiar with it. However, if you already know C Sharp and .NET, you will have a head start. And even if you don't, the strong typing and clear structure of Blazor can make it easier to understand and learn than JavaScript. Performance JavaScript as an interpreted language, JavaScript performance can't match that of compiled languages. However, modern language JavaScript engines are highly optimized and can execute code very quickly. Plus, JavaScript's non-blocking event-driven model can handle multiple concurrent requests if efficiently make it a good choice for highly scalable web applications. Blazor, Blazor can run either on server side or on the client side via WebAssembly. While running on WebAssembly, Blazor code is compiled to bytecode and executed at near native speed, offering better raw performance than JavaScript. However, the size of compiled Blazor apps can be larger, which can affect load times. So there you have it, JavaScript with its flexibility and ubiquity versus Blazor with its performance and structure. It's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all solution in web development. The best choice depends on your specific needs, your team skills, and the nature of your project. So the last topic is choosing between Blazor and JavaScript based on different scenarios. Now that we have laid out the key differences, let's consider which might be a better choice based on different scenarios. Remember the right tool for the job always depends on the job itself. So scenario 1, rapid prototyping and small projects. JavaScript might be your best bet here with its forgiving syntax and vast ecosystem of libraries and frameworks. You can quickly whip up a prototype or a small project. Plus, there are tons of ready-to-use solutions and code snippets available that can help you save time and effort. Scenario 2. Large complex applications. Here, Blazor might shine. Its static typing and clear structure can make it easier to maintain and debug large code bases. Plus, if your team is already experienced with C-Sharp and .NET, you will be able to leverage that knowledge and avoid the need to contact switching between server-side and client-side languages. Number third is scenario high-performance application. Blazor's running on WebAssembly might be the winner here. Compiled to bytecode and running at near native speed, Blazor can potentially offer better raw performance than JavaScript. However, Keep in mind that the larger size of compiled Blazor apps can affect load times. So scenario 4 is highly scalable event-driven applications. JavaScript will likely be a good choice here. JavaScript non-blocking event-driven model can efficiently handle multiple concurrent requests, making it an excellent choice for highly scalable real-time applications. So scenario 5 is learning and career opportunities. If you are a beginner looking to learn a new language or developer looking to broaden your career opportunities, JavaScript is hard to beat it. It's widely used, has vibrant community and offers countless learning resources and job opportunities. In the end, the choice between Blazor and JavaScript isn't a strict either or decision. They are both are valuable tools in the web developer's toolbox and the best one to use depends on the task at hand. The beauty of web development is its diversity. So why not learn both? So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com/start-now. Thank you.